Hi, OC kids. Hi, Welcome OC kids. to another week. If you guys remember the last couple of weeks, Miss Jess and I tried to tell some jokes and it didn't go super great. So we brought in some other talent. My son, Kaden, you guys remember Kaden? It's cool to see a fresh face. So yeah. what, what do you got for us, kid? What does a dinosaur use to make explosions? I don't know what. Dynamite. Oh man! All right, you got another joke? Yes. Okay. How do you get an astronaut's baby to sleep? How do you get an astronaut's baby to sleep? I don't know. You rock it. <laughs> oh my gosh, that one was actually really, really cute. I'm glad we brought you into the team because you are definitely a funny kid. All right, guys, I hope you're ready for the last and final week of our um, the series that we're doing. So we are wrapping up David uh, in the Kid City group, and we are wrapping up the Glow series uh, for Kid Nation kids. So get ready to have fun. Get ready. Ready. Hi, OC Kids, Hi, we're back. It's the last week of an amazing story of one of the best guys in the Bible, and his name was David. We've talked a lot about this guy, but let's review. Who was David? David was a man that matched God's heart. But how did he do it? What did D David do? Do you remember the story about Goliath? David was able to kill the giant Goliath with a little stone. Wait! David was a shepherd boy! How could he do that? because his heart matched God's heart and he knew that God was gonna help him. Wow, David was pretty strong really, wasn't mm -hmm. it? Pretty amazing. How can we match our, our heart to God's though? Well, there's lots of ways. One of them is we could sing and praise and worship God. <gasps> I've got one, we can read our Bible. Yes, yeah, staying in the word. Wow, what's the last one we can do? Mm -hmm. <gasps> We have hands. What can we do with our hands? We can pray. Yay. Wait, I think I've got picture passes to clarify all of these, just in case no one's been listening or learning. <laughs> wow. Well, first of all, I have a guitar. Why would I have a guitar? Because we can make music with guitars and worship God. Wow. But do you have to have a guitar to make music? For God? No way. We could use our voices. We could use other instruments. Oh my gosh. What happens to your heart when you sing songs to God? Your heart can match God's heart and it pleases God when we worship him. Oh my gosh. I love this. Me too. We have the Bible. Mm -hmm. Best book in the world. Yeah. So what does the Bible do? The Bible helps us understand God and his heart. Wow, so when we read the Bible, our hearts grow to match God's heart. Exactly. <gasps> and who do you get to know when you read the Bible? We get to know God. Oh my gosh, I love this. Is this how David grew? Yes, and we what? I love the Bible. Well, his hands. Again, what do we have to do with our hands? We pray. Wow, is that what is that what it's called when you talk to God? Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh. Wait, I have a question. Not everybody knows this answer, but when do you have to pray to God? You can pray anytime. No way! Yep, when you're happy, when you're sad, any time of the day. And can you pray for anybody? Anybody. We could pray for our friends. We could pray for the world. Oh my gosh. That's amazing! Yeah. So. So far we've reviewed that David killed Goliath, mm -hmm. David was a shepherd boy, mm -hmm. we can use all these things to match our God, heart to God's. There's, there's got to be a Bible verse. There is. Let's see what guy the Bible guy is doing. Hi Emily! What question are you finding the answer to today? How can your heart match God's heart? I Get to know God. That's right, Mr. Music. We learned that David got to know God. David got to know God by making new songs for God, like I do. Yoza Palauza! I think I have a picture pass about that. 
Friends, which picture pass can make music? Friends, you're right. It's the guitar. I use a guitar to sing songs to God. Wait a minute. Can I still sing songs to God if I don't have a guitar? Yes. You can sing to God anytime and anywhere. <laughs> Will you teach us a song about that? Of course. Friends, clap your hands together if you'd like to sing a song with me. I'm clapping my hands. Are you clapping yours? Okay. I'm going to sing something, and then you're going to go ba bum ba bum just like a heart. <laughs> Ready? Let's do it. I match God's heart. Ba bum ba bum I get to know God. Ba bum ba bum <laughs> Then my heart is ready. I can do good things. I match God's heart. Ba bum ba bum I get to know God. Ba bum ba bum Then my heart can do what is good. <laughs> that was great! Let's sing the whole song together. Okay. Friends, sing with me. I show love. I show love. I have joy. I have joy. When my heart. When my heart. Matches God's. Matches God's. Oh, I am kind. I am kind. I do good things. I do good things. When my heart. When my heart. Matches God's. Matches God's. I match God's heart. Ba bum ba bum. I get to know God. Ba bum ba bum. Then my heart is ready. I can do good things. I match God's heart. Ba bum ba bum. I get to know God. Ba bum ba bum. Then my heart can do what is good. <laughs> <laughs> so much fun. I show love. I show love. I have joy. I have joy. When my heart. When my heart. Matches God's. Matches God's. Oh, I am kind. I am kind. I do good things. I do good things. When my heart. When my heart. Matches God's. Matches God's. I match God's heart. Ba bum ba bum. I get to know God. Ba bum ba bum. Then my heart is ready. I can do good things. I match God's heart. Ba bum ba bum. I get to know God. Ba bum ba bum. Then my heart can do what is good. <laughs> then my heart can do what is good. Then my heart can do what is good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Now, stand to your feet to worship God with music, singing, and dancing. Now we've heard the Bible verse. Now we've learned what our praying hands and our singing voices and everything we do about God. I think we should read the story. Let's get ready for story time. God looked in David's heart. God saw David's heart matched his heart. David was ready to do what was good. When everyone else was afraid of Goliath, David said, how dare he defy God's army? I will fight him. David was ready to do what was good. Mm. David said, I have the help of Israel's God. David's stone knocked Goliath down. David was ready to do what was good. David was ready to do what was good. David told Goliath, I have the help of God. David slung a stone at that giant. Wow. David was ready, finish with me, to do what was good. David trusted God's power. David's stone knocked Goliath down. And David was a hero. Wow. But wait, there's a moral to that story. Mm -hmm. David was always ready to always. do what was good. Yes, he so was. So kids, we have to learn from David. Always be ready to do what is good. good. Yep. Wow. So that's all we need to say about David this, for this month, this week. I think we should pray together. Me too. Father God, we give you thanks and praise that our hearts can match yours. Let us sing. Let us be in your word. Let us pray ceaselessly. 
Let us join together and always be ready to do what was good. In Jesus' name we say, Amen. Amen. Again, that's all we have time for on David. But beforehand, we have dance party time with worship songs. Yeah. And right after that, get ready for Kid Nation. Bye, guys. Bye. chosen one he's the champion the winner for all time with me to the end jesus is my friend he's always by my side anything i face he will be my strength i'm his and he is mine i'm forever free nothing's stopping me because he gave his life shout it out
Good morning, OC kids! So excited to connect with you at home. We're ready for our Kid Nation lesson today. Miss Alexis, what are we talking about today? Well, this is the last week of our lesson, Let's Glow, but we aren't gonna let that stop us from shining our bright light right. every single day. So let's recap a few things that we've been learning over the past few weeks about this section of the Bible that we've been studying. Mm -hmm. So if you guys remember, um, Jesus has gone up to heaven and his disciples on earth have been multiplying because of the hard work and the faith of the church. Mm -hmm. And so the Holy Spirit has been at work in the apostles' lives and this is allowing them to perform signs mm -hmm. and miracles. And you guys, when these people are seeing these signs and miracles, some of them are actually hearing the gospel and following Jesus Jesus too. And do you remember Saul from last week? I do. Saul was that bad guy. Was bad guy. Yes, mm -hmm. and his name was changed to Paul. That's he right. was going around telling everyone the good news about mm -hmm. Jesus. And so um, this week we're actually going to be talking about two different miracles that were performed by Peter. Um, and these uh, were very special miracles that allowed everyone to see the power of God in a way that was undeniable. Everyone yeah. could see the power of God and it was just something that it was so evident, and we're also going to talk about one more miracle performed by Saul, the bad guy. Wow, and he yeah. did this mm -hmm. miracle, he performed this miracle for a man that had such amazing faith that was so bright that, again, it was so undeniable, everyone yeah. could see it. That's incredible. I'm so excited to dive into our lesson today. All right, let's go. This is the story about the God who loves us in the Searching God's word for things to discover. This book is alive, full of answers and godly advice. This book is alive. See the wonderful stories inside. Every day I'm searching, read through history and poetry. How much Jesus loves me. God's great story lives. There's no other book like this. This book is alive. Good morning, OC kids. I'm so excited to be with you today. I have a special friend that I'm going to introduce to you. Um, her name is Dr. Farfelbart, and she's been tuning in with us, and she has a special inve invention. Um, hold on a second. Um, hi, Dr. Farfelbart. She's here. How are you doing? <laughs> What's going on? Wait a minute. Come, come back up. Come back up there. Don't you look at um so I thought you've been tuning in each week. What are you scared of? Are you scared of something? What's going on? Well, isn't it obvious? It's the the uh, the, 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 the 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 kid the kid the kid the kid why okay you came here today knowing that we're gonna be talking to all these kids today and and you've been tuning in each week. Why are you, why are you scared? It's, I just, I didn't realize how scary they'd be. They're not that scary. Well, they're scary to me. Okay, all right. Well, is this like your irrational fear of both light and the darkness? Maybe. Okay. Well, but I, I guess it will be okay as long as I keep a good distance between myself and the... The... <laughs> the, 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 the kids? The kids, Okay. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna keep a distance. Dr. Farfelbert's gonna show us her invention. It's gonna be amazing. I'm super excited. Okay, let's so let's talk about that. Um, it looks like I know you've been working on your top secret invention. Mm -hmm. um, can you tell us a little bit more about it? Well, yeah, but I don't <clears throat> think y'all ready to see it. Huh? What do you mean? I I told you I'm ready to see it. I'm sure the kids are ready to see. It. Are you ready to see it? Well, that's not exactly what I meant. I mean, if you're going to see it, then you're going to need some special eye-tech gear um, to protect your eyesight because it's like, it's really bright. Okay. Um, it could make you go blind. Really? Yeah, and then that will not be my fault. 
Mm -hmm. Are you sure? Because it's your invention. Yeah, but that's my warning. Okay. That's how bright it is. That's your warning. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, I guess, so can the kids see it? Well, actually, <clears throat> I only have one specially formulated pair of iTech gear glasses that have an invisible lens. I, I was super... So, Okay. Only you can see oh. it. Okay. Oh, I was super excited for the kids to see it, but I guess I guess that's what I'm gonna have to do. I'm gonna have to see with these glasses here. Yes. Oh. oh okay. Well, here you go. But I, I can't guarantee they're gonna work. What? That's 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 comforting. At least I told you. Here oh. you go. Okay. Mm -hmm. Here we go. All right. Are we ready? Yep. Okay. Yep. Let me go get it. Oh, yes, these are specially formulated <sighs> glasses. What in the world? Oops. Do you need help, Dr. Farfelbart? She needs help. Okay. All right, here we go. <clears throat> All so, right. So, can you see them? You can see. Do you, you see, see my them? special invention? I see. This is copyrighted, patent protected. Don't try to steal it. Okay. I won't, I won't try to steal your copyrighted, patent protected okay. invention. All right, so I'm just gonna lift it up a little bit. So, you know, get get okay. here. Okay. All right. So you can see it. Can you see it? Can you see it? I'm just All gonna right. lift it up a little bit. Just a little bit, okay. A little bit. All right, we ready? Okay, ready? All right, here I go, kids. Ready? Okay, okay. here we go. Let's go. Ready? Whoa! Oh my gosh, my eyes! Huh? What is that thing? Ah! I warned oh you. Whew. That is so bright. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. Dr. Farfelbart, what did you, why, okay, I think you might need to work on your glasses a little bit. Well, I told you that I'm still working out all the kinks, of course, but yes. it is going to be the world's brightest glow stick. I mean, you can see it for, for miles, for, for days, for weeks, for, for years, and maybe centuries. It is so bright. So bright. Mm -hmm. So bright that it almost burned my eyeballs. But it didn't. It's uh, that's le that's a really cool concept, I'll tell you. But don't mm -hmm. you think that a glow stick that requires such special eye gear to see it is quite kind of a bit dangerous? Okay, well, um, I think it still needs a lot of bit of work, Doctor Farfelbart. I guess I could tone down the brightness a bit. Just a bit. Okay, fine. Okay. A lot, but. You just don't understand. I wanted to create something that people would talk about, that, that they'd be impressed with. I wanted it to be seen for miles. Well, I am so impressed by this invention. It is a very good invention, but Are I think you? it, yes, I am. Okay. I think it just needs a little bit of work still. All right, all right. Okay. Well, all right. that's what I'll do. I, I better good. get going if I want to get this to the assembly oh, line. <laughs> awesome. Thank you Take so much. Here. Yep. Thank you yep. so much. Thanks for trying right. it out. All right. All right, um, here you go. Bye, Dr. Barfelfart. It's Barfelfart, Mary. Oh, sorry, I messed up her, I messed up her name. It's not Farfel, or it's not Barfelfart, it's Farfelbart. So, I'm so excited that we got to meet Dr. Farfelbart, and she has a cool invention that shines bright and almost burned my eyeballs. Um, but we're gonna get today's story today and see how we can shine bright for Jesus. All right, Kid Nation, the first two miracles that we're going to look at today will be from Acts chapter 9, verse 32 for, through 43. Um, it says, Meanwhile, Peter traveled from place to place, and he came down to visit the believers in the town of Lydda. There he met a man named Aeneas, who had been paralyzed and bedridden for eight years. Peter said to him, Aeneas, Jesus Christ heals you. Get up and roll up your sleeping mat. And he was healed instantly. Then the whole population of Lydda and Sharon saw Annas walking around, and they turned to the Lord. Wow, isn't that an amazing thing? Yeah. It's so incredible. It's amazing. Such, so incredible, these miracles. Let's find out what the next miracle is. Okay. This is what it says, okay? So there was a believer in Joppa named Tabitha, <clears throat> which in Greek means Dorcas. She was always doing kind things for others and helping the poor. About this time, she became ill and died. Her body was washed for burial and laid in an upstairs room. But the believers had heard that Peter was nearby Lydda. So they sent two men to beg him, please come as soon as possible, they said. So Peter returned with them. And as soon as he arrived, they took him to the upstairs room where she was. The room was filled with widows who were weeping and showing him the coats and other clothes that Dorcas had made for them. But Peter asked them all to leave the room and he knelt and he prayed. Turning to the body, he said, get up, Tabitha. He just said, get up. 
Wow. And guess what happened? What happened? Her eyes were opened. Her <laughs> eyes became open. And when she saw Peter, she sat up. He gave her his hand and helped her up. Then he called in the widows and all the believers, and he presented her to them alive. The news spread throughout the whole town, and many believed in the Lord. Wow. Such incredible miracles. That you, really, they, you couldn't deny the hand of Jesus in those miracles. You couldn't deny it, that Jesus is Lord and that he can do anything for you. Right. You know, so these were two pretty incredible miracles that Peter did back to back. But both miracles are obviously, they were obviously so life-changing for Ennis and Dorcas, but they weren't the only ones affected by the miracles. You want to know another one? I do. Okay, yes. here we go. So the Bible tells us that the news spread and people noticed and saw what had happened. And when people saw and heard, heard God's power at work, they believed in him and then they were saved. Just because of hearing these miracles, they believed in him and then they were saved. It's amazing. So we're going to look at the third miracle. This is the one that we talked about earlier about Saul, the bad dude, yes. doing. Okay, so let's yeah. read. It's from Acts chapter 14, verses 8 through 10. And here we go. This one is short and sweet, but it packs a powerful message. While they were at Lystra, Paul and Barnabas came upon a man with crippled feet. He had been that way from birth, so he had never walked, ever. He was sitting and listening as Paul preached. Looking straight at him, Paul realized he had faith to be healed. So Paul called to him in a loud voice, and the man, and he said, stand up. And the man jumped to his feet and started walking. Somebody that was crippled and couldn't walk from birth. He just said, stand up, and he got up and started That's walking. incredible. His faith was so powerful in, in Jesus that he just, he didn't even question it. He just stood up and started walking. That's Isn't that amazing? Amazing. So amazing. So, you know, that's a powerful story, and we don't even know that this, man, this man's name, but we do know that he had been crippled and unable to walk since he was born. He had spent his whole life dealing with this handicap and not even being able to walk, but his faith was so strong, and Paul seen that faith in him. And so he, said, he just said to him, get up, and he got up. He didn't even have to say that he believed. What a powerful story. You know, we don't even know that man's name. But we do know that he had been crippled and unable to walk since he was born. He had spent his whole life dealing with this handicap. And you know, he had faith that was so strong. Paul could just look at him and know that he had faith to walk. Right. Isn't that incredible? So cool. I would want somebody to just look at me and know that I had faith to believe in, in Jesus. And that's what this man had. So he told this man to get up and walk, and he did. And so when Paul told him to stand up, it didn't say, doesn't say that he struggled, it doesn't say that he wobbled, it says he immediately jumped to his feet and he started walking. It was like he had been walking his entire life. God completely healed him in that exact moment. All right, we're gonna go over this month's memory verse, wrapping up the Let's Glow series. Here we go, Miss Alexis. While I am in the world, I am the light of the world. That is John 9, 5. You know, God wants his power to shine so brightly for every one of us to see and notice. Mm -hmm. do, you, do you know that he wants that for you too? Right. To yes. shine so bright that everyone notices. He wants us to live differently than other people. Mm -hmm. um, each of us has God's power inside of us. If we ask Jesus to come into our lives, we can have that power inside of us to shine so brightly that others know exactly who we are. Even when we go through hard things, like the people that we talked about in the Bible that had those miracles, even when we, go, when we go through hard things, God still wants us to know that He is there and that we can shine bright even through the hard times. I know it's been very hard these last couple of months, we haven't seen each other, but God still wants you to shine bright to your friends and to your family mm -hmm. and to know that He's always there and He can always protect you and take care of you. You know, there's one thing that you can do for your friends and that is lead them to the salvation prayer and asking Jesus to come into their heart so they can also know Jesus and um, have a relationship with him. And so in Kid Nation, we do the ABCs of salvation. A, we admit that we have sinned. And B, we believe that Jesus died on the cross for our sins. And C, we confess with our mouth. And so today, to wrap up our Let's Go series, I want to pray that prayer of salvation and help you guys to know how to lead your friends in the prayer of salvation, and then also for us to be able to shine bright for Jesus in this time and um, know that he's always there for us, he's always gonna take care of us, and that we can have the courage to shine bright for him. So Miss Alexis, would you like to pray with me? Sure. Okay, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna say this prayer, you're gonna repeat after me, and then we're going to um, wrap up our lesson for today, okay? okay. Yep. 
Dear Jesus, dear Jesus, thank you so much. Thank you so much for dying on the cross for me. For dying on the cross for me. I know, Lord. I know, Lord, that I have sinned in my life. That I have sinned in my life. And sometimes. And sometimes. I don't do things. I don't do things the way that I should. The way that I should. And sometimes, and sometimes, I don't listen to my parents. I don't listen to my parents. But Lord, but Lord, I ask you, I ask you to come into my heart, to come into my heart, and help me, and help me, to know and do better, to know and do better. Lord, I love you. Lord, I love you. Be the Lord of my life. Be the Lord of my life. And guide me through each and every day. And guide me through each and every day. And help me to shine bright for your kingdom. And help me to shine bright for your kingdom. Jesus, I love you. Jesus, I love you. And I pray this all in your name. And I pray this all in your name. Amen. Amen. Kid Nation, we love you, and we hope you have an amazing day today. We will see you soon. Yes.